Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at a very special custom visual that's designed around Power Apps. Now, if you're not familiar with what Power Apps is, Power Apps is part of the business application platform designed by Microsoft. That includes Microsoft Power Apps, Microsoft Flow, and Microsoft Power BI all together make the business application platform. And essentially, if we break these down, Power Apps is designed to develop line of business applications that can then integrate in with the other tools. So you can develop an application using Power Apps. You can use Microsoft Flow to create workflows and approvals and things like that built into your app. And then you can present the data in more of a dashboard view using Power BI. Now, as part of that component, Power Apps actually has a custom visual built into Power BI so you can see your apps with inside of the Power BI reports that you design. And it gives you the ability to actually have some special capabilities. One of the unique things about the Power Apps visual with inside of Power BI is it gives you the ability to do something called write back. Now, the concept of write back is the ability to, from your report, enter in data and actually see that data written back to your data source. And so with Power Apps, you can actually look at a data source, like you're seeing a screenshot here called Budget Tracker. This is actually the example we'll be using for this scenario. And I want to be able to enter in new expenses for my budget that I've created. And based on those entered expenses, I want to also see those show up on the report that we're looking at. So it has that capability that you can actually change values in your report. And depending on where your data source is, it may refresh immediately, it may refresh every hour, or it may, may refresh based on an increment that you set, but it will write that information back to the database, and then it can also be viewed inside of the report that you're looking at. So there's a lot of unique things about Power Apps that we can spend a lot of time talking about. Uh, it has nice mobile capabilities that are built in. It has the ability for you to easily share the applications that you develop with others and it has hundreds of different data sources that, that it can connect to. In our example today, we're going to actually be connecting to an app that I've already designed. We could spend a lot of time actually walking you through how to create a Power App, but really our focus is on the custom visual itself. So I'm gonna be connecting into a Power App solution already designed that's a check-in process of how someone checks into my retail store. Whenever they're coming to get something fixed, uh, they need to first check in through the app that I've designed, which they can do either from a mobile tablet that's sitting at the front desk, or they can do it in some other way, perhaps. But for this purpose, we're going to have them do it through an app, and then I want a dashboard to actually have my employees be able to view the users or the customers that they've worked with through Power BI. So connecting Power Apps and Power BI together here to be able to see all this information at once. So let's go ahead and jump in first to Power BI so we can connect to our data source. It's going to be in OneDrive for Business. And then we're going to use the Power Apps custom visual to walk you through how you can connect to that custom visual and use it within inside of Power BI. All right, so in this demo, we're going to be starting a little bit different than we have in the past. Rather than starting in the Power BI desktop, I'm actually going to be starting from the Power BI service. The reason for this is because I want to be able to connect to my file or my data source in OneDrive for Business and then be able to show how that data can immediately be refreshed into my Power BI service and my reports that I create based on a Power App solution that we design. So our first stop here is I'm going to go down to the bottom left here and select Get Data. And we're going to go connect to my OneDrive for Business account and the file that I'm going to be using is going to be a check-in app file. And basically this check-in is we, we work at a company that um, has end users or customers that walk in the door and they need to be able to check in when they arrive at my store because they have kind of a broken phone or something. It's one of those you broke it, we fix it kind of places where you break your phone, you bring it in and they can fix it within an hour kind of thing. And so I want to be able to log whenever someone checks in, when they check out, and I want to have that available to my users as well as my associates in the set of reports that we build. And so I'm going to go ahead and select the check-in process Excel file as my data source, and I'll hit Connect. And you want to make sure that you select that you want to import Excel data into Power BI. If you were to select it as Connect, Manage, and View Excel in Power BI, this would actually show up in your workspace as a workbook and not as a data source. So we're going to select Import, and this is now going to bring this file in as a data set, okay? 
And we're going to go ahead and select go to go into that data set and use that data set by selecting view data set. And so we can see that this report uh, or this, this uh, data set has a set of fields on the right hand side. And we can start to bring those into our report. And the report itself, we're going to make pretty simple for this example. I'm going to bring in a just a regular old table because I want to see a list of people that I've checked in. And I'm going to bring in the, the individual's first name and last name, the reason they're there. And let's also bring in the check in date. Okay, and maybe we do the check-in date time. I think that's this one right here. Yeah, there we go. I'll bump up the text size so this is a little easier to see. So we'll bump up the text size here to, let's say, 12 or 14 point font. And we're going to make this so, again, we can see it real easily. And my goal is we're going to then put our app, our Power App Solution, on the left-hand side. Now, I've already developed this Power App Solution. It's a pretty small one. Uh, the nice thing about how Power Apps is designed is it's really designed in a way that if you are very comfortable with things like Excel macros and really PowerPoint and Excel, you'll pick it up really quickly. You'll notice when you actually get into the Power App Studio, it has very much a PowerPoint look and feel to it, where the left-hand side has the different screens that you can select from, almost like PowerPoint slides, and then the middle is your design surface. And there's all kinds of properties. It's obviously more complicated than PowerPoint, but it has that look and feel to it. And it also has a combination of Excel. You have an Excel, almost like an Excel formula bar at the top where you can type in formulas and functions to be able to create your app. They make it very simple for you to do. Even I created one. And so now I'm going to come up to and import the Power App Custom Visual. And you can import it from Marketplace. Now, you can certainly do this from inside the Power BI desktop as well. But the key thing that I'm trying to show you here is the refresh with inside of your reports that you design can be done either immediately or in this case, I'm going to be pulling from OneDrive for Business, so it'll do it every hour. But I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want to import a custom visual from the marketplace. It's going to launch open the marketplace here that I can choose from, and we're going to search for Power Apps. We'll add in the Power Apps custom visual. We'll see that show up over here in our visualization pane, and I'll add that into our design surface, and then it does require that you put some fields in there that you want to be related to your report, so that way it's able to easily be able to jump back and forth between the values that you have and you can select things in your app and it filter in your report. So you're gonna to wanna to be able to select things and bring things into your report. You do have a Power Apps kind of key or a Power Apps ID value that's really critical so it can tie individual rows. And then you can either choose to create a new app based on the spreadsheet that you're looking at or you can choose an existing app. Now, again, I've already designed the app because it's not really the focus for what we're doing today. So I've already designed the app and we can just select that we wanna choose that app here. You can see the couple apps that I've designed here. The one that we're focused on for this example is one called Check-In App. And I'll select the Check-In App and then choose Add. It's now going to allow us to go ahead and connect in and see that app here. And we can actually see that app with inside of our Power BI desktop now. A couple things you get from this. One, you can actually interact with the data points that you have here. So I can actually select the value here and it'll dig deeper into the data. I can even go a step further and say, I wanna actually edit values in here. So I can edit a value here or delete a value and once I do, after a few moments, and in this case, I'm using OneDrive for Business, it actually takes an hour to refresh, I'll be able to see those updates occur over here. So let's take you through an example here. Let's say I wanna add a new row, or a new record to my data set. I'll hit Create New Item, and then I'll type in a set of values here. So we can call this Sample User, give it a time that they visited our store. And again, by the way, you can use these things in your mobile applications as well. Okay, give it a time here. So they visited in the evening, evening. And the reason they came was they also had a cracked screen on their phone. And I don't have a checkout date for them. So I'm gonna leave that alone and I'll go ahead and hit the check button to actually add this row to my data set. So if I submit this item, it's now gonna add this. You can see it moving up top here. It now added this record into my app called sample user. And I can go look at that user here. And the next time that I refresh, or my next time I refresh automatically occurs, that will appear inside of my table. Now, I'm going to show you over here, if I were to manually initiate a refresh, if I were to go over to where we have our data set, which is called check-in process, and if I manually kick off a refresh by hitting refresh now, you'll also see that it'll pull back a new record the next time I refresh my report. All right, so once we refresh, and we refresh our report screen as well, so there's two refreshes. You'll notice a refresh up here. This is just re refreshing the report screen. The refresh over in the data set section is going to be the refresh of the data set itself. Once we have done that, we can then actually see that new record called sample user appear when it was done. 
And again, you have that interaction here between your Power App solution and your report itself, okay? So really nifty little solution here. Again, you can select, you can interact with the data as you select things. If you interact with them, you'll be able to actually edit. You can search here. This is all part of the Power Apps itself. So I can search for Manuel. It'll just bring back Manuel here. Really cool little solution, and it allows you to integrate it with inside of your reports and not only integrate it, but also write back data to your data source using what is commonly known in the IT world is something called write back. It uh, is also available using Power Apps to write back to your data sources. Uh, now, one thing I'll point out here as we wrap up, if you're using anything like, uh, say, for example, a streaming data set, you'll see with streaming data sets that those results get pushed back immediately and you'll see them appear here right away. You don't have to really do that whole refresh process of your data set. In this case, I wasn't using a streaming data set. I was using OneDrive for Business, which refreshes every hour automatically. So I had to uh, auto manually kick off a refresh and then go refresh my report to see that updated data. There's not really anything in the format section. If you go look under the format section, there's nothing in particular special about the format section here. So you're just working within the context of what's on the design surface here whenever you're working with the Power Apps custom visual. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is a really cool way to be able to integrate both apps and reports together. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.